What's going on everybody? Adam here with the trailer Today we're going to be taking a look at the RV cleaning kit. So what we're going to get with this kit is we're going to get a foamer, which is nice. We're going to get a little spray nozzle. We're going to get some Griot's Garage car wash stuff. This is going to be great for foaming up and making the job a little bit easier. And my favorite of all of them is the telescoping brush. So this is going to be able to hook up to your hose so you can have water coming out the top so whenever we're going to scrub everything down we have some water to keep everything nice and moist to lift that dirt the nice thing about this is it is going to telescope so it goes down to 44 inches and all the way up to 66 inches so we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to wash your rv of course you guys already kind of know but this stuff's just going to make it a little bit easier the Griot's Garage Brilliant Finished Car Wash is going to come with 64 ounces of this stuff. The nice thing about this is we really don't need a whole lot. It is a more premium cleaning product, but we're only going to need about an ounce per gallon. With the foamer, this holds about a quarter of a gallon, so we're really not going to need much at all. So if you're going to fill this up completely, put about a quarter of an ounce in there, and that should be good for washing your rig. Depending on how dirty your rig is, depends on how much prep work you should do. This one isn't really that dirty at all, so I do just recommend just kind of spraying her down just to kind of get that initial layer of dirt and grime off. Give it a good soak. Once that is done, we just gotta pull this back to get it put on our little foamer. And this thing's really cool so you just click it on like that and then look at her go and it all just depends on how much pressure you guys are working with wherever you are cleaning your rig at but this has plenty of pressure to get up and this is just well water you get it like that and then you go ahead and grab the brush start up top twist that to lock it into place and you can start scrubbing the brilliant car wash it does really really well of helping really loosen that dirt before you start spraying and stuff like that it's going to leave a nice protective film over your rig too so you're kind of cleaning less often which is always a plus and it also smells really good so that's good uh, one thing that the brilliant wash is really good at is keeping from a lot of those hard water spots from piling up so you don't really need a drying towel i like using drying towels for a lot of the lower stuff but for the higher stuff we do have some squeegees which i like to use just to kind of get all that water from way up top down it does a pretty good job and then once you get it down low then you can go ahead and grab the rest of the stuff with this drying towel but if you really wanted to just leave it sit and air dry you can do that too but we have all this stuff here at e-trailer so whatever you want to get with your kit you can we do get a 10 inch wide brush and it's gonna be super soft. So it's not gonna scratch anything. And if you keep it nice and clean, it's not gonna scratch anything over its life. And this is going to allow water to flow through it. So when we go and install this, water's gonna flow through here and go all the way up through here. So it's gonna be a lot better for some of those really heavy duty messes that you need to clean up. You can use this same exact stuff to wash all your other vehicles as well. If you got a travel trailer or an enclosed trailer or just your vehicle and it's just a little gross, you can go ahead and knock them all out in the same day. So that's always a plus. You can wash the whole entire fleet while you're doing your RV.
And the nozzle does have plenty of pressure, as you can hear, to get all that really hard stuff out and out of the cracks. The nice thing about it too, for all of your seals and stuff like that, the washing solution that we're using is not gonna be corrosive to anything like that, so you don't have to worry about that eating away at all your seals. I usually just go ahead and fill up just the bottom. If you have a measuring cup, get that out because we can really make this last a long time. So just kind of fill up the bottom and then fill the rest up with water and we are locked and loaded for the next time. Whenever I'm washing my vehicles, I usually do the floor mats too, which with this, you can get a lot of the initial nasty stuff off there. Spray it with a little bit of goop. Give her a brush. And she's going to be looking brand new by the time we're done. But of course, let them air dry before you put them back in just to make sure We're gonna go ahead and put this to the test. We're gonna clean the dirtiest part, which is the front end of this travel trailer. You can already see how the bubbles are kind of doing their thing, taking off that nasty little layer of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, spray it down one more time, and then see how clean it actually got. Well, it's already a lot better than what it was, and this is a fairly newer camper for us, but this is basically about a year or two of neglect. We don't have hardly any cleaning that has been done on this before, and it definitely shows, but after just one wash, This thing is looking almost brand new again. All in all, this is a chore that really needs to be done, especially a couple different times in the year. So we definitely have a lot of stuff that'll help you get a better result, but this is just going to help it get done a little bit quicker. And that'll do it for a look at the RV cleaner kit. And I'm Adam with the trailer.